Shocking video of the out of control crime in Baltimore. People flee a shooting at a gas station, but an innocent 13 year old girl was hit by a stray bullet. Thanks for staying with WJZ. I'm Nikki Zizaza. And I'm Rick Ritter. And a family of friends at Kelsey Washington prayed she would pull through, but tragically, a heartbreaking twist. She was pronounced dead earlier this week. Tonight, a 35 year old suspect is in custody. And WJZ live at City Police Headquarters tonight at 5 30. Avajoy Burnett has more on the investigation and the victim who could come up in room. Avajoy. Rick and Nikki, tributes are pouring in for 13 year old. This 13 year old, her name is Kelsey Washington. She was a young dancer and was apparently raising money for her dance troupe when a bullet hit her. Kelsey Washington was a beloved 13 year old. She was very nice and like supportive person, and I really loved her. Whose personality and passion for life beamed through, especially when she was dancing. But last week, Monday, she was shot in the head near East Fayette and North Carolina Streets. Those close to her said she was doing a fundraiser for her dance team. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you. Friends and family prayed for a miraculous recovery, but one week later, she was pronounced dead. She just happened to be standing where the person was shooting and got shot. And I pray for her family who has to deal with it. After a week-long search, police arrested this suspect, 35-year-old Tavon Battle, and charged him with murder. According to charging documents, he was shooting at someone else when Kelsey was shot. Debbie Jay-Z obtained surveillance video, which showed others ducking for cover. It's sad for her family. Very sad. An online fundraiser said Kelsey danced to the beat of her own drum. She was beautiful and respectful. The fundraiser also said her organs will be donated. It broke my heart. It really broke my heart because I didn't thought that this, like this, all this thing would take her life away, and she's only 13. Court records also say the suspect has been charged with attempted murder because there is another victim who was also shot and injured. Live at police headquarters tonight, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.